Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this learning video, we are going to discuss about the case number 4. Okay, so the case number 4 is a very special case and uh, before we start this case number 4, let me tell you one thing. Don't be confused with this product and the plus. What student do in the examination, the problem is on case number 4 and instead of a dot they just write plus and then apply rule 1, rule 2 and that's it or rule 3 depending on phi of x1. Okay, so that is not the case. This is a problem of case number 4. So here what uh, f of xy would be f of x f of xy would be e to the power x plus by into phi of xy. Okay, then this phi of xy may be anything like uh, it may be x to the power m into y to the power n may be from rule 2 function in rule 2 and it may be like sin x plus by or cos x plus by. Okay, so uh, e to the power x plus by plus this phi of xy will be x to the power m y to the power n and sin or cos x plus by. So what you have to do in such problem is you can take outside this function e to the power ax plus by but there is a condition when you take out this e to the power ax plus by outside you have to pay some tax and that tax is given by applying the increment to d and d dash so you can take out this problem sorry this function outside and you can whenever you are taking this outside you can just increment d by the coefficient of a and d dash by coefficient of y okay so is this okay and then this will remain as it is throughout the problem and you know your problem is like this now depending on this phi of x y if this is uh, x to the power m y to the power m you will be applying rule number three and if it is of sine and cos you have to apply rule number two okay so these are the two different possibilities that we have okay so let us take a problem on this uh, rule number four so this rule number four says uh, we uh, solve this okay so whenever we have a solve and we have some function on the right hand side what we need to do is we just need to what we just need to find out complementary function first so let us start with the given thing so given this then you can write its auxiliary equation is its auxiliary equation is what is this auxiliary equation for d is equal to m and d dash equal to 1 so this is m square minus 3m plus 2 equal to 0 we have already seen such type of equation in the previous lectures also so i am writing directly so m is equal to 1 and 2 okay so with the help of this m is equal to 1 and 2 you can write down complementary function that is cf is equal to 5 1 y plus 1 x plus 5 2 y plus 2 x so this is my complementary function now i have to apply the apply for pi okay so what is my pi my pi is equal to okay i can write over here also right to save some time so uh, to make use of this space i will write where 5 1 and 5 2 are are arbitrary functions so this completes my cf now let us find out pi so what is pi So what is my pi now? So pi is equal to, uh, may I write it here? pi is equal to 1 upon, what is it? d square minus 3 d d dash plus 2 d dash square into e to the power 2x into, what was that? Sin of x plus 3y. So this is sin of x plus 3y. Okay. So this is the problem we have. So I can write e to the power 2x as e to the power 2x plus 0 times y. Is it? So apply the rule number 4. This is the problem of case 4. So just take out that function outside e to the power 2x and just increment the value of d by 2 and increment the value of d dash by 0. 
that is no increment so d plus 2 whole square minus 3 into d plus 2 into d dash plus 0 no need to write plus 2 d dash square plus 0 square no need to write into sin of sin of x plus 3y okay so now you can write you can some do some simple elementary calculation so this is like d square plus 2d it's 4d 4d plus 4 minus 3d into d dash plus not plus minus 6d dash so this is 3d into d dash then 3 2 is a minus 6d dash plus 2d dash square into sine of x plus 3y okay so we have this d square plus 4d plus 4 minus 3d dash uh, and minus 6d dash plus 2d dash is square okay now this is a pure problem of now so what we have done we have a problem of case number case number 4 and we have reduced the problem of case number 4 to case 2 so case number 2 what case number 2 says case number 2 says put d square is equal to what is that put d square is equal to minus of a square what is a here a is 1 and b is 3 so this is minus 1 plus 4 into i cannot substitute the value of d plus 4 minus 3 what is d d dash so d d dash can be written as minus of a into b so that is minus 3 so this is uh, you can write minus 9 then minus 6 d dash plus 2 d dash square so d dash square can be written as minus of 3 square so this is 2 into minus 9 that is minus 18 okay so these are simple calculations and then my function as it is sine of x plus 3 y okay so just solve this further to get 1 upon what is it i will write the function of uh, terms of d first 4 d minus 6 d dash and what is it minus 27 minus 28 plus 4 so minus 24 is that 4 d okay minus 1 plus 4 d plus 4 minus 6 d minus 9 so minus 9 minus 6 d dash minus 18 okay so this comes out to be 4 this is minus minus plus 9 it is okay yeah correct correct this is minus minus plus 3 so this is 18 minus 19 19 then this get cancelled uh, so this is 13 and 19 so we remain with minus 6 yeah correct okay so we have this now then you just have to write down sine of x plus 3y so okay so now as you can see we have sine of x plus 3y in the right hand side and here we have what here we have only the terms of d and d dash so to apply the rule number two i must have the functions or the terms of d square and d dash square so what i can do is i can just multiply and divide by d so i will be getting e to the power 2x into 1 upon 4 d square minus 6 d d dash minus 6 d into derivative of sin is cos x plus 3 y okay now you can substitute d square is equal to what you can substitute d square is equal to minus 1 so this is 4 into minus 1 minus 6 d d dash can be written as minus 3 minus 6 d okay so this is 4 into minus 1 6 into minus 3 minus 6 d into cos as it is cos x plus 3 y okay so what is this 
minus 4 this is plus 18 so this is 14 okay so this is e to the power 2x uh, into 1 upon this is 14 minus 6d so I can take 2 common from here I will write it here and this is 7 minus 3d into cos of x plus 3y now again continue this problem you can continue this problem by this uh, again we want d terms of d square and d dash square so what we need to do is we need to get the terms of d and d square and to get the terms of d and d dash i need to again multiply and divide by uh, its conjugate so this is e to the power 2x into 1 upon 7 minus 3d into 7 plus 3d upon 7 plus 3d into what is it cos of x plus 3y so now as you can see we have here you can apply a minus b a plus b so this is like e to the power 2x into uh, here you will be getting a minus b a plus b so a square so I can write 7 square minus 3 square and d square so this is 3d square so you can certainly write 9 d square into here it is uh, 7 plus 3d and here it is cos of x plus 3y now we can do two steps simultaneously over here this is e to the power 2x as it is now what we can substitute d square is equal to minus 1 so this is 49 minus 9 minus 1 and then multiply this 7 plus 3d to this function so this is 7 times cos of x plus 3y minus sorry plus 3 times derivative of cos what is derivative of cos minus sine so this is uh, okay minus sine of x plus 3y okay into derivative of x plus 3y with respect to x is 1 so this is now 49 plus 9 is 58 and you can continue writing down the solution of this and you will remain with e to the power 2x into what is this this is like 7 cos of x plus 3y minus 3 sin of x plus 3y and this value this is divided by 2 this divided by 2 yeah. and this comes out to be plus 58 so if you want you can again write this as uh, same thing 116 okay so once you get the pi try to write the general solution or the complete solution therefore the complete solution is the complete solution is what is it z is equal to cf plus pi so what was my uh, what was my cf so z is equal to 5 1 y plus x plus 5 2 y plus 2 x and pi just we have found out so this is e to the power 2 x by 116 into 7 cos of x plus 3 y minus 3 sine of x plus 3 y so this completes the solution of this problem you may find it a little bit lengthy one but it's easy if you go through the rules and uh, try to solve step by step you will always be getting the correct solution okay avoid silly mistakes so thank you for watching this learning video and have a good day